Hello everyone, this is Elias5891 and I'm here with another Katain tutorial. Uh, this time we're going over the Simon Screams module. Uh, so let's take a look at it. This is uh, one of those modules that does require all the edge work, so as usual we will start with that. Looking around this bomb we have one battery and one holder. Uh, we have a lit SND and an unlit TRN. We have four ports, RJ, RCA, DVI, PS2, and serial number. ZR9, DT6, Z Romeo 9, Delta Tango 6. Alright, so let's look at the module. Simon Screams, a little uh, six-colored star with uh, flashing lights in it. Um, it has some similarities to Simon St Says and Simon States in that you're going to return, it's going to flash some colors at you, you're going to push some buttons, it's going to flash some more colors at you, uh, a longer sequence each time, like the others. Uh, unlike those, your answer will not always be or your answer will not be progressive. You'll have a unique answer each time. But let's look at how we get that. Um, you'll notice first and foremost, you'll notice here on the uh, the expert page for this that you've got two grids: a really big one here and a little bitty one here. Even though we use it second. As soon as you know that there's a Simon Screams module, you can work with that little grid and get some of the basic information down. Uh, you'll see where this comes in handy. But on this little grid, we need to figure out which rows apply to the bomb that we have. So for each of these six rows, figure out which conditions apply. Do we have at least three indicators, three ports, three numbers, three letters, three batteries, three battery holders? Uh, in this case, two indicators four ports, so we do have at least three ports, uh, two numbers, four letters, so we have that, uh, one battery, one holder. So those two rows are going to apply. That is going to tell us that we are going to have two buttons we press in each stage, and this will have three stages to it. So what do we do with this? How do we get the answers to those stages? Well, first the diffuser needs to give two pieces of information. The first is the sequence of colors in the star, and the second is actually the flashing pattern. Uh, so let's look at the sequence. Uh, what the diffuser needs to do is give all six colors in clockwise order from any starting position. And you'll see why when we get into the details on the big grid there. Uh, so this sequence is orange, red, green, blue, yellow, purple. And we also need to see the flashing sequence, which little trickier to do, but uh, blue, orange, blue. Blue, orange, blue. Alright. So now that we have the information, we can figure out what our first step is. Uh, you'll see there's six rows here. Uh, top to bottom, we're going to figure out which rule applies. Which is the first rule that applies. Uh, if three adjacent colors flashed in clockwise order. Uh, well, only three flashed, and they obviously weren't in clockwise order, because we had two blues. They were actually across from each other, so it's not that rule. Otherwise, if a color flashed, then an adjacent color, then the first again. So like red, red, green, red, or blue, green, blue. So close, if that had been green, we'd had that, but no, we don't have that rule. Otherwise, if at most, one color flashed out of red, yellow, blue. Uh, a lot of people call that the primary rule. Did two primary colors flash. Or actually, the way it's worded, did zero or one primary color flash? And in this case, yes. Blue is the only primary color that flashed, so at most, one of red, yellow, blue flashed. Blue, specifically. So for this stage, we're going to use this row. For the column, it actually is based on what stage we're on. So, and it tells you right here, for stage one, you're going to look at the first flashing color. The first flashing color was blue, so we're going to use the blue column. 
That gives us three letters, AFH. What does that mean? Well, again, we're on stage one, so we're going to look at the first letter. That's the A, alpha. So we're going to go back to that second table, the little table that we did earlier, and we're going to go down column A, because A was the first letter. And we're going to hit the colors that are in the cross-section of the rows and the column we're looking at. So in this case, P, G. We're going to hit purple, green. Purple, green. Now, it's going to give us a new sequence, which is the old sequence with some more colors. This time, it went blue, orange, blue, green. Added green. Well, these two rules aren't going to change. That's edge work stuff, but this might. So, three adjacent colors flashed in clockwise order. Nope. Color flash, then adjacent color, then the first again. Well, we have two adjacent colors flashing, but it didn't go back, so that's not true. Uh, at most, one of red, yellow, blue. Well, that's still true. We didn't get a red or a yellow added, so we're still in this row. Uh, this time, we're on the second stage, so we're going to look at the second flashing color. That's orange. And second stage, we're going to look at the second letter. That's a C, Charlie. So we go down the matches. Y, B, we hit yellow, blue. And third stage, we add red to the sequence. Very short sequence this time. They can get a, a little longer than this. Uh, three adjacent colors in clockwise order. No, we had three in reverse clockwise, anti-clockwise, counterclockwise. Uh, but we did not have three in clockwise order. Uh, one color, then adjacent in the first again. No. At most, one color flashed out of red, yellow, blue. No, not true. Now we have red and blue. Otherwise, there are two colors opposite each other that didn't flash. Well, your opposite, since there's six of them, your opposite colors are going to be two apart. So orange and blue. Oh, no, we had both of those. Red and yellow. No, we had the red. Green and purple. No, we had the green, so that rule doesn't apply. Otherwise, if two adjacent colors flashed in clockwise order. Uh, blue, yellow. Nope. Orange, red, nope. Blue, yellow, nope. Green, blue, nope. Don't have that rule either. So we're on the otherwise rule. Third stage, we look at the third color was blue. For the column, we look at the third letter, D, for our small grid. D gives us RO, so our answer is red, orange. And uh, see what happens when we solve this one. Flashes, closes up. Very nice touch. I very much like that. They kind of look like little coffins sideways, though. Also, you can see the textures under there. Interesting. Um, that's one. Let's do one more a little quicker. Uh, since it's the same edge work, we're not actually going to change. Actually, let's start up another one, because we want some different edge work. See if we can get different number of uh, rows here. And I'm not going to write down the... Uh, all the edge work this time. We'll just kind of look at it. Uh, be aware if you're actually doing it, obviously you'll have that written down somewhere. So we know what we're looking for. Uh, so let's see, we have one battery and one holder, uh, three indicators, no ports, and that's my serial number. So three indicators, yes we had three. Uh, three ports, didn't have any. Three numbers, only got two. Three letters, yep. Three batteries, had one. Three holders, had one. Uh, again, we're only doing two rows, but it's different two this time. So, let us take a look at this one. Uh, we'll do this one right here. Zoom in on it nice and bright. Uh, so, first step, we are going to... Interesting. Key. So colors in my clockwise order are start with the blue, because why not? 
blue, green, red, purple, orange, yellow. And my flashing sequence is blue, orange, purple, orange. Blue. Almost missed that. Goes back to blue. Three, four, five. Yep, that's my sequence. All right. Three colors flash in a clockwise order. That'd be blue. Nope, orange is not next. Orange, per. Nope. Purple, orange, not blue. So nope. Otherwise, color flashed, then adjacent color, then the first again. Well, we do have color flashed something, and, then, and these are adjacent, actually. We have orange, purple is adjacent, and then it went back to orange. So we are in rule two this time. Boop. Uh, let's take a look at the flashing color. Uh, blue is for the first stage. And first letter is F, so we have blue-purple. Now, let's assume, um, sometimes you get a little trigger-happy, you extra-click something. What happens if... Okay, that's actually not what I meant to do, but that's interesting. Um, oh well. I did want to demonstrate what happened when you got a strike, though. Uh, green is added to my sequence. Uh, when you get a strike, just buzzes at you. You're still on stage two. No big whoop. Uh, so rules. Three adjacent clockwise order. Orange, blue, green is not, so nope. And we know that rule's still true, because we didn't get rid of the colors. We've still got adjacent, uh, color, adjacent, and the original again. Orange, purple, orange. So same row. Uh, we're going to look at the orange column this time. That is this column second stage second color or second letter that's an F that's actually the one we just did blue purple again now let's say you do blue you accidentally hit it early and you don't know what the sequence was if you wait it'll go ahead and play the sequence again after a few seconds and it will reset your input so now I still have to do blue purple it forgets that I've hit the blue already uh, it doesn't help you if you make a mistake, because obviously you're going to get the strike, it's going to reset it anyway, but if you hit something that happens to be correct, you can wait it out. Alright, uh, last stage on this one, uh, sequence is blue, orange, purple, orange, blue, green, blue, orange. Uh, did we have three in clockwise order now? Uh, no. Blue, green, blue. We do have blue, green, blue as another color flash than adjacent than the first again. So that's kind of nifty, but... So same rule yet again. Purple is our column. This is stage three. Purple because it's third color. Stage three, using the third letter, it's a D. Green, orange. Green, orange. So that's how this... I'm talking. That's how Simon States works. Yeah, there we go. Um, so, you know, you got the big grid based on the pattern of the sequence as well as the patterns flashing. You got the little grids based on edge work and the big grid. All kind of ties together very nicely. Um, one last thing I do want to mention on this one, A, is it glows in the dark because it's lights, which is really, it, it looks very pretty, I think. Uh, the second thing is, uh, depending on who you play with, I've seen some people who have, or several people actually, who when they diffuse, they've learned the five column rules here, or the five uh, big grid rules, and sometimes you'll have somebody who will just tell you which rule it is. Obviously, you're still going to need the flashing sequence so you know which color you're looking at, which stage you're on, which letter to match up. Uh, but in that case, you may not get the sequence. So if you're playing with someone new, newer players, you probably want to do it this way. More experienced players may not give you the sequence to shave a little time off and just tell you which pattern it is. Just something to be aware of that that can happen. Uh, but that really wraps this one up. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. We'll see if I can guess this one right. Nope! That's alright. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, comments, questions, concerns, suggestions, leave them down below in the comments. And until next time, uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, have fun, and don't explode. Bye.